Not a, it's a, not a scam. It's a legend call. Social Security Administration, how can I help you? Yeah, I got a, a voicemail to call this number about my Social Security. Oh, when did you receive this call? Oh, it was like 11.30 this morning. I just got home. Okay. May I know who I'm speaking with? Yes, this is Jay, J-A-Y, Walker, W-A-L-K-E-R, Jay Walker. Okay, Mr. Walker, verify yes. your date of birth. 3-16-1950. The 90 the social security number. 0861014463. In which state your social was issued under your name? New York. Let me check, okay? Okay. Do you have a case ID number on you? No, I didn't get no case. I didn't hear no case number. Well, let me ask you, this is the number you received the call on, 315-8001? Yes. Mr. Walker, I can see that you have some criminal allegations under your name, and we have an order to suspend your social at this moment. At this Are moment? Are you aware of the situation? Well, no, I don't even know what the heck you're talking about. All right. Do, do not get, don't panic, I'll explain you. What? Did you okay. receive any calls from your local police department? Yeah, they, no, I didn't. You didn't? Okay, no, no problem, sir. Well, do you have a pen and paper handy with you? That's what I'm going to say, you have to make a note of it. Uh, let me find, okay, go ahead, I got one here. Got one? Yeah. Write down your case ID number. Yeah. It is D as in David. D. C as in celebration. Celebrate, okay. Dash, number seven. Uh-huh. Zero. Uh-huh. One. One. Zero. Zero, okay. Write down your warrant ID. Warrant? Yes, it's number five three dash seven five four two. I, I don't understand the warrant number. What's that mean? Like in a arrest warrant. Arrest warrant for I'll who? explain. I'll explain you what's going on. This is your. This is the case ID number and the arrest warrant well, I number. I got that. I got been, that. Okay, and it's been registered under your name and your social information. I'll just go ahead and explain you the legal charges against your name. While I'm speaking, do not interrupt. You will be given a fair enough chance once I'm done, okay? Go ahead. Your social has been found suspicious for criminal activities in the state of Texas. Have you ever been to the state of Texas before? Yeah, yeah, years ago. And for what reason? I worked on a dam down there. I was a dam builder. You were a dam builder? How yeah. long? Yeah. Oh, Is gee, it, it was sure? probably 1978, 79. Built okay. dam. I had to build a dam down there with uh, the crew. We had to cross the Mr. river. Mr. Walker, have wide. you ever lost your wallet? No, 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 no. But I did slip and fall into the wet concrete below. Okay. And have you ever they been a victim me in of that identification tomb that has theft? no name? Huh? Pardon me? Have you, been, have you ever been a victim of identification theft? No. Not as far as I know. I mean, how would I know? Well, how would I know that? Mr. Walker, I'll just go down and explain the investigation. Okay. It started when we found an abandoned car on the south border of Texas. And the car contained some blood and drug residues inside it. After investigation, we found that the car was rented on your name and oh. on your personal oh. social well, information. Why didn't rent it? Why would I Hold rent on, a car sir. in Texas when I'm in New York? Mr. Walker. Yeah. I'll give you a fair enough chance. Well, I don't get it. I'm in New York and somebody, re I re exactly. I, how could I rent Hold a car on, in sir. Texas? I understand. That is the reason we as a Social Security Administration we're trying to reach you before you face any legal consequences. Okay. Because we have also checked your past records, and we have found that your banking contains genuine records, and your social have no other complaints in the past. So we believe this might be a case of identification theft. Oh, okay. Okay? Yep. Well, we found there are two addresses linked with the title of the vehicle. It was a Toyota Corolla Black Color Model 2009. Huh. And the address in the city of Rolls, Texas was raided by the U.S. Marshals, but unfortunately there was no one inside the residence. Oh, geez, I wonder. But, but we have recovered 22 pounds of cocaine, which is an oh. abusive drug, 
and some documentation from financial institutes such as Chase Bank, Wells Fargo, Bank of America, Citibank, and U.S. Bank. And the entire paperwork has your name on it and thousands of dollars has been wired from these bank accounts locally and internationally, which totally seems suspicious to us. I bet. As we are, very ha as we are having a very short term, okay. and what it seems to have done was totally against the law of U.S. I didn't do it. I, I heard you, sir. Okay. If you are innocent, okay. if you're innocent, make sure as we had a background check under your social and your personal information. We checked your records and we found no other complaints in the well, past. Oh, no, I haven't got any complaints against my social. Exactly. That is the only reason we try to reach you before you face any legal consequences. Okay. So if you so if you agree to help the Department of Treasury in this case, then only we can put your case and your warrant on hold as we have to find the real culprit okay. who has Go used ahead. your personal information towards this criminal activity. Okay. Now, Mr. Walker, just tell me what is your intention towards this case, Paul, which is going to be executed once this line gets disconnected. Are you willing to cooperate with the federal officers today to get your name out of this sensitive case of yours? Well, yeah, take my name out of the sensitive case. Yes. Sure. Yes. Make sure that you have two allegations under your name that is for Drug Trafficking Act of 1958 and the Money Laundering Act of 1986. Well, right, I'll just go ahead and update your case, Paul. Yeah, update and I'll it forward your, and say I didn't yeah, do it. Sure. Yeah, sure. Yeah. Sure, Mr. Walker. I really appreciate that if you're okay. innocent yes. and you're willing to cooperate with the officers today on this ongoing investigation. I don't know what I have to Please do. Please make sure this call has been recorded and been monitored with the Social Security Administration. And this recording will be sent to the courthouse of Texas and will be placed in your favor. Am I clear to you, sir? Yeah, 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 I'm clear. Okay, Mr. Walker, I want you to verify your street address where you reside at. 100 Main Street. What is the... I'm sorry, let's 100 repeat. Main Street. 100 Main Street. Yes. All right, what is the city and state? Moravia, New York. And the zip code for this address? 13118. Is this a house or apartment? It's a house. 13118, is it? Yeah. And your house number is 100-100? Yeah, Main Street. 100 Main Street. Right. The city name is? Moravia. Can you spell that for me, please? Spell Moravia? M-O-R-A-I-B-A. Yes, okay, I got it. Is that a house or apartment? It's a house, I said. Huh. All right. Mr. Volker, I just want to ask you, do you suspect anyone who can use their personal information to perform this criminal activity? Uh, I got one guy. That, no, I don't think so. And who is that? No, I don't think. I don't think he'd do it. All right. Now just hold the line. What I'm gonna do is, Mr. Walker, I'll just update your case files, and I'll transfer this call to the senior officer from the Drug Enforcement Administration, who is the authorized person oh, okay. on your case. Okay. Okay. Yeah. So for the very last time, Mr. Walker. You say that you're innocent and you might oh, yeah. be a victim of identification stuff. I must be. You're willing be. to cooperate with the office today I'm not today sure. On this I'm call, not right? sure, but it must be because I'm in New York and you're talking about Texas. That is great. Yeah. Mr. Volker, so are you willing to cooperate with the federal officers today? I don't know. What do I have to do? You just need to hold the line. I'll just go ahead and transfer you to the DEA officer. Okay. Then. Make sure to do not get disconnected because once this line gets disconnected, we will have to activate your arrest warrant under your name. Oh no, I don't want that. All right, so kindly stay online, sir. I really appreciate your okay. time. All right. Just give me a few minutes. Let me transfer you over okay, to the yeah, DEA okay, officer. Okay, yeah. Let me talk to them, I guess. All right, hold on, sir. Thank you for holding the line. This is Senior Officer Alex Russell from the DEA with the batch ID number 0308. 2703, how can I help you today? Uh, I don't know. It connected me to you. Hello? Hello. Yes, hello. Yes, how can I help you today? I, I don't know. He told me he was going to connect me to you. I don't know. I don't know what you're going to do. I don't know why you have been transferred to the DEA. Well, he said that he was going to transfer me to you because of something in Texas, but I'm in New York.
Right. What exactly happened? You don't know? Can I have the case ID number, sir? DC7010. DC7010, right? Yeah. Allow me a minute. Let me check. Okay, yeah, check it, because you told me all this stuff, but they raided a house in Texas, and they found a Toyota in Texas, but I'm in New York. That's why I tried to tell him, the other man. All right. Is this a Jay Walker I'm speaking with? Jay Walker, yes. Well, Mr. Walker, let me inform you. There are two serious allegations under your name. One is for drug trafficking and second is for money laundering. What do you have to say about the serious allegations which are under your name? I didn't do it. I didn't do it. I wasn't in Texas. I told the other guy all this stuff. How, all the documentations we found, Mr. Walker, it was under your name. And the car which we found, it was rented under your name and under your social security number on it. Yeah, but I didn't do it. However, the previous officer you were speaking with has also mentioned a note on your behalf stating that you are just the victim and not the culprit. That's and someone right. is trying to misuse That's with right. your personal I'm not social the information. I'm the victim here. Right. Okay. Now I'm going to ask you two questions. Can okay. you be honest over the federally recorded line? Yes, right? I will. Okay. Go ahead. As you are already aware that there is another warrant which has been released from the courthouse of Texas. So the first priority is to put a cancellation on your oh, arrest warrant. Absolutely. Now, Mr. Walker, have yeah. you ever been the victim of identification theft any time in the what, past? That's what I told the other fellow. I, I don't think I have, but I must have been. I don't know how, though. I, I don't know how anybody would have got my information because my wallet's right here. Have you ever lost a wallet or social security card somewhere in the past? No, no, no. Have you ever provided your personal details over the Internet while applying for loans, credit cards, or any payday loans? I put it on, uh, I was applying, no, I guess I didn't. No, I didn't need my side, no, I didn't. And how often do you go over the internet to shop, shop online? I do a lot of you shopping do online. You online shopping? Yeah, I do a lot of shopping. I do a lot of shopping online. On Amazon? Amazon, yeah, eBay, and then, of course, I have that little business on the side where I, I sell uh, pot holders on uh, eBay, so I'm on eBay a lot because I make pot holders and sell them on eBay. All right. I'm thinking about doing ceramics, too. But I don't I'm sorry? know how that would work out. Not to, I was going to do ceramics, too, on eBay, maybe. Now, I'm going to forward this conversation to the jury members of the courthouse and make them understand that you are just the victim in this case okay. and not the culprit, and someone right. is trying to misuse with your personal social information. Okay. Meanwhile, on the recorded line, I want you to say your first and your last name and your complete address. Go ahead. Go ahead and what? I want you to say your first and your last name and your complete address. Did oh. you hear, hear me? Did, yeah, I'm, I'm a little hard to hear. Uh, my name is Jay Walker. Jay Walker, 100 Main Street, Moravia, New York, 13118. Okay. And the last piece of information, I, I need you to verify me your date of birth and your socials, please. I gave it to the other guy. Didn't he give it to you? I already have it on my file. I need you to verify it from your end. Oh, yeah, I got it. 316-1950-086101463. Right. And which yes. year was your social card was issued to you? 1950. My mom got it for me. I'm sorry? My mom got it when I was born for me. All right. Now, I want you to be on the line. Meanwhile, I'm going to forward this conversation to the jury members of the courthouse. Okay. Jury Make sure members. you do not disconnect the line. Okay. Make sure you do not disconnect the line from your... Okay. Thank you. Yes. Thank you for holding the line. Mr. Walker, you there? Yes. Thank you for holding the line. And I do apologize for the long hold. But let me inform you firstly, your arrest warrant is kept on hold as of now. Okay, good. So you do not have to worry about anything, all right? Okay. It is not cancelled yet, but it is kept oh. on hold identifying the fact how do that we you cancel are just it? the victim do, in this how, case. How, how do we cancel it? I would appreciate yeah. if you do not interrupt me in between while I'm speaking. Is okay. it clear for you? Well, yeah, I'm not gonna. I'm, I just want to know what's going on. I would appreciate if you do not interrupt me in between. Okay. Go ahead. Thank you. You're welcome.
Meanwhile, I'm going to pull up the asset verification form just to differentiate what is legally yours and what is illegally created by the imposters. Oh. The reason why I have to do this because I can see there are four to five different bank accounts which have been opened oh, and created in the state of Texas. Yeah, I only got one bank. My bank here in New York. Do you understand English? Do Yes, I do. Are you sure about it? Yes, why? I don't know what you're talking about, sir. I told you something that I would appreciate if you do not interrupt me. Oh, okay, I'm sorry. Still, you're doing the same thing. Oh, I'm sorry. Well, okay, go ahead. I'm going to pull up the asset verification form just yes. to differentiate what is legally yours and what is illegally created by the imposters. Okay. Now, the address which you reside at, are you the homeowner or are you the tenant? No. I, I told the other, I told Alex. Are you Alex or is this somebody different? Answer me what I'm asking you. Are you the tenant or are you the homeowner? Please don't yell. I'm not. I own a home. I just asked you if you were Alex Russell. You just I need to answer home. me. Who am I talking to? Who do you think you are? I'm asking you who you are. Are you Alex? Who do Alex? you think you are? Are you Alex Russell? This is Officer Alex Russell here. Okay, I just wanted to make sure I'm still talking to the same person. You don't have to get mad at me, sir. Hello? Sir? Hello? Hello?